Welcome guys, welcome back to another episode with Norma Frank. We're here, we're in Sagaleta, in one of uh, Norma Frank's new mansions, a new listing coming up. We're gonna take a tour, the full team is here. And it's a pretty, pretty cool mansion, I have to say. 1,000 square meters interior built, 5,000 square meters plot, incredible views, ocean. That's it, I think I covered it off. It is a really nice house, nine bedrooms, nine bathrooms, I could add something. And um, the price, maybe we see that uh, we say it at the end. Yeah. So let's do that. Let's do it. Let's start with the entrance. The house has a lot of features, which we're going to see, but uh, it welcomes us with these high ceilings. You have wooden high ceilings. It gives a really nice feeling. And uh, I really like the combination or the contrast, better said, between the white, which is the main color of the house, and then the dark wood. We have the full team here. I guess pretty much everyone is here, right? Yes. From the team? Pretty much. And uh, it's not even tight in this house. Like 50 people and uh, it doesn't feel tight. It's good. Um, so let's start here. This is obvious. I will say this is like the main, the first thing you see, like a hallway. Champagne know. room for your guests. You have so and so where you have the clock Hey, This is a champagne room. Welcome down. Get the welcome drink. We'll... I guess it's for sure. 10 meter ceiling in this one, definitely. Morning, Frederick. How are Hi. you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? What do you think so far of the house? Oh, it's amazing. I love the area and the ambience. It's, uh, it's really nice. It is. It is. The... Frederick is uh, the head of development, so uh, he for sure has a say or a word to say when it comes about the qualities, the finishes, and uh, that's why we appreciate very much his opinion as well. I'm here to find inspiration and uh, steal some ideas. Basically. <laughs> Obviously placed in a way that whenever you are, while you are cooking, having friends over, all of the time you're facing the panoramic yeah. view. You've got mountain views, you have the sea view as well. And actually, when you get closer to the pool, you have even uh, golf views. So it is frontline golf villa as well. Yeah. It ticks all the boxes, isn't it? I love this view because you have like a bit of mountain on the left, mountain yeah. on the right, and it goes into a V. So like, it becomes really a painting from this angle. So and amazing. it's super private as well. All this cool area, all that, you know, outdoor, outdoor area that you see, it's a basement underneath all of it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So it's really, really cool. Let's continue, guys. Continuing to the living room. Again, the double height ceilings. White wooden ceilings this time. With some, again, black carpentry. So they go a lot with the contrast, isn't it? Yeah. I love the seating here. Mm -hmm. it's, it feels really like a hotel lobby. You have like in both directions. I like that a lot. Oh, and super nice views from the sofa as well. Again, the mountain, the sea views. Really nice. So this is actually, it's, it's a one level house. Uh, it's all built on one floor plus a basement. So it, it, I, I love that feeling because it always feels bigger when it's on one level. So the master you have on this wing, we're not going to show you all the bedrooms. There is a ton, ton of bedrooms, like Gloria just said, like nine or ten bedrooms, right? Eight bedrooms, yeah. And to the master you pass by this little patio that we had in the entrance as well. So it's a very nice walkthrough. Come here, it's on your left hand side. Oh. Welcome in. And I would say this is a proper master bedroom. Seems like it's oak wooden floors in the bedrooms. So they changed from the porcelainic tiles in the communal areas coming with the, with the oak here. I love that. It warms it up a little bit. It does. It's like that like black it. and white kind of thing they're going for yeah. to bring in the oak. It really gives a warmer feeling. I love that. I love that they're doing that. Very Scandinavian, right? The contrast, black and white, the wooden floors, very Scandinavian. Sure. Right? Now, when you mention it, actually, some years ago, many people were looking for and were asking a lot for the modern houses, you know, the white boxes and everyone wanted to build very modern houses. Uh, in the last years though, maybe the last two, three years especially, 
Um, those houses aren't requested, I would say, pretty much at all. And everyone wants a modern house, Scandinavian design maybe, but always finding the Andalusian uh, touch. Sure. So most of the times you will see they keep the original roof, this Andalusian roof tiles. Um, yeah, the mix between modern, Scandinavian, but always, always keeping some of the original Andalusian tiles. Exactly, yeah. His and hers sink. You have access from the bedroom, but you have access directly from the walk-in closet as well. Um, I know the house has underfloor heating throughout. So bedrooms, bathrooms. Yeah, I like this. I love that centered piece back top. Huge shower, probably one and a half times one and a half meters. Toilet is private though there, you can close that only. I like the white. Nice. Oh, very tall. This is actually... Yeah, oh. Like a hotel. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Resort. This you can only enter from the bedrooms, like from the master and those two bedrooms. So this is some kind of bedroom terrace, you know? I like it, it's very cozy. Here they also come in with a lot of wood. So Galeta is... Um... Many people know it's a gated community. They say it's the safest. They have the highest security when it comes about the security guards. And uh, what's also nice about it is the plots are usually quite large. They are not very close to each other. So you have this privacy feeling. I think right now we're parked maybe eight cars in the front. Yeah. And you could probably fit a few more. And in here for two cars, so you can easily fit. Oh, 13, 14 cars, Perfect. for sure, more, I guess. It's a huge uh, plot, 5,000 square meters. The street is also full of stack street, so you have to leave a few houses on this little street, therefore you can have guests, many guests over. There's always space to hear a uh, park outside. Yeah. So yeah, I think we're pretty much underneath the pool. Because we took this step down and I believe the pool is right above us. So it's be like a men's cage down here, is it? Most of the bedrooms are upstairs, so if you are late for some wine tasting, some whiskey, a cigar, then it's perfect room to come down here. Um, and you keep the privacy yeah. for the of the bedrooms. It's nice. Let's take a look at this patio, it's quite cool. They dig down or created this space to have the daylight coming into the basement called the bedrooms, this patio, the staircase also take you up directly to the pool area. So the access is really nice. Also from the pool, pool area, you can go straight down. You have the gym and the spa right inside here as well. It makes such a difference because then these bedrooms are proper bedrooms with natural light, with access to a terrace. You can access the pool, as you said, directly. It makes a big difference. It adds more value to the bed source. For sure. Definitely. Come on, Lori. Let's do it. Entering the spa. Well, so this is pretty cool. Come in, really lounge area here. A lot of mirrors, so uh, you can get lost. Then we have a big double shower uh, with the glass straight towards the view. And another shower, double shower here. Uh, or eight by eight. I like it actually. You, it's pretty good because now we're underneath the deck, like we're all on the edge of the pool. So we're down below the pool, but you have pretty much the same view from here as well. Look at the view. Even though now we are actually one lower level than the pool. The view is still super nice. Green mountains, and again, you have a good sea view. Cool, right? I like the distribution. And the investor, the the, the developer, developer, he actually uh, they digged all this area out. They added another two, three hundred square meters of digging this out. People are searching more and more for features. It's not only about the bedrooms, uh, but it's what else a property offers. You know, what's the orientation? What's the view? What is the location? Do you have a, a cinema room, a spa, a bar, gym, and so on. Exactly. So the more boxes you tick, 
obviously the better it is mm. and the price is higher. This was Villa Lune, 5,000 square meters plot, over 1,000 square meters interior, 565 square meters of terraces, nine bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and the price is, you know the price? 9.5 million euros. 9.5 in Laza Galeta, sea views, mountain views, frontline gold. Thank you guys for watching Norma Frank vlog. We've been in Sagaleta today. It's been a good day. The whole team was here, good vibe. And we were looking at this amazing, stunning property right behind us here. And uh, hope you guys liked it. Um, we we'll see you again next week. Please subscribe. Please give a comment if you feel like it. Until next time, you all have a good day.